It's a quiet night in the city, unless you're selling hot dogs. There's money in hot dogs and hamburgers, so they say. So how is this lady done? Terrible. First stop, the annual conference of the Mobile and Outside Caterers Association, where violence was high on the agenda. At first, no one took much notice of us. So we headed for the bright lights, where we knew trade was good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust you. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That was a threat, was it? Was it a threat? Yes. That was a threat. Because this is what's happened. Unfortunately, that's how it is in the hot dog world. I was legal, and now I'm out of business. He's illegal and very much in business. The hot dog business is run on violence. It was the murder of Gary Thompson in Leicester last October that first alerted us to the physical and financial perils of the hot dog industry. He's thrown three petrol bombs in the van. Dick Bai is a small operator with three vans. My advice to anybody that wants to go out into the catering world, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and it's high rents and low takes, and even get beaten up at the end of the day if you're not very careful. Joe Persico's cousin has had a dead pig dumped in his Land Rover. The corpse had Joe's name carved on it. Joe Persico is still in business, armed with an axe and a sledgehammer. Take our word for it. <laughs> 